Zapata. Um, I wasn't going to speak. I was asked to speak here, you know, uh, Sheriff good to see you. Um, I'm telling you guys, you know, I'm pretty appalled at what's going on. You know, at first we sat as concerned citizens and we all wanted to figure out how to best navigate our way through this whole COVID thing, you know. And uh, as, as we realized that it's not quite as dangerous as we thought it'd be, you know, I was absolutely appalled at the cowardice, you know. And as you're sitting there with your masks on, uh, I don't blame you for wearing masks because I'd be hiding my face too if I was you for what you're doing. It's absolutely horrendous what you're doing to these people. I'm a business owner and, uh, and I'm telling you, our families are starving. You know, you guys can sit here with your jobs, you can sit here and you're going to get paid, you can fall asleep in your chair like that gentleman's doing behind his mask right there, okay? Uh, and I'm telling you right now, that right now we're being peaceful. And, and you better be happy that we're, we're good citizens, that we're peaceful citizens. But it's not going to be peaceful much longer, okay? And this isn't a threat, I'm not a criminal, I've never been a criminal. But I'm telling you that good citizens are going to turn into real concerned and revolutionary citizens real soon. And nobody else is going to say that. I'm probably the only person that has a boss to say what I'm saying right now. That we're building, we're organizing, and we'll work with law enforcement or without law enforcement. But you won't stop us when time comes because our families are starving. And if you don't hear the seriousness of my voice, I hope you open your ears and you absolutely listen to what I'm saying. Because this is a warning for what's coming. It's not going to be peaceful much longer. It's not going to be rah rah. It's not going to be speeches. It's not going to be gathering outside saying a pledge of allegiance. It's not going to be waving flags. It's going to be real. When you've seen the things that I've seen, I went to war for this country. I've seen the ugliest, dirtiest part of humanity. I've been in combat, and I never want to go back again. But I'm telling you what, I will to save this country. If it has to be against our own citizens, it will happen. And there's a million people like me, and you won't stop us. Open the county. Let our citizens do what they need to do. Let owners of businesses do what they need to do to feed their families. Take the masks off. Quit masking and muzzling your children. The psychological damage you're doing to them is horrible. I've had six friends kill themselves since it's happened. Veterans who lost their jobs. How do you feel about being complicit in perpetuating that? The greatest hoax ever perpetuated on the American people. And you're part of it by wearing your masks. In Shasta County, we're supposed to be red country up here. Not blue country, we're red country up here. 